Hi, welcome back. I'm Yoram Solomon. I'm very excited that my fifth book, Unkill Creativity, How Corporate America Can Out-Innovate Startups, is just about to come out. Most innovation books use Apple as an example for an innovative company, but I use Lockheed's Skunk Works Group, created by Kelly Johnson, as my example. Kelly Johnson had 14 rules for Skunk Works. I'm going to give you seven of them that you can use today. One, the team leader has to have the maximum authority for the project and report only to the highest of management. Two, the team should be co-located in one facility, one office, one small office, and not spread across multiple facilities, multiple states, and sometimes multiple countries. Three, have the minimum team size possible. You can rely on people outside of the team, but the core team should be as small as possible. Four, prototype quickly. Show the customer the prototype, get feedback, make changes, move on. Five, the team has to be trusted by both management and the customer, otherwise they will design your project for you. Six, restrict outside access. Don't let outsiders get into your project. Again, then you will get a design by committee. And seven, involve everyone in the team in the big picture, starting from financials, cost, manufacturing, quality, and even having everybody stand at the flight line when the prototype takes flight for the first time. To show how effective this was, the Rand Corporation created a report back in 1971 to the U.S. Air Force regarding the Agena D project. And they showed the plan versus actual. The, the project was supposed to cost about $60 million. It ended up costing only $32 million. It was supposed to take 18 months. It only took nine. They were supposed to produce 3,900 drawings. They only needed 350, and they delivered each in one day instead of the projected 30. Finally, instead of using 1,200 quality control personnel, they only used 69. Amazing results. Don't you want those results in your projects? I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.